Hey guys, my name is Kevin. I'm one of the exercise specialists with the West Primary Care Network and today we're going to be doing standing core exercises using a counter. Now the higher the counter, the easier it is a tabletop or the lower the counter, the harder it gets. So we're going to be doing three main exercises. The first two I want you to do, the third one's a little bit more optional. Um, it's better if it's coached, I usually find. So uh, we're going to start with the standing bird dog. So um, hands into a countertop, obviously something that's not going to move. Um, and then walk your feet back a little bit farther. So I want a pretty straight line from your shoulders down to your heels. It's okay if your heels come up off the ground. They don't need to be flat on the ground. So from here, I want you to squeeze your belly and we're going to keep our back totally still. So I don't want to see your back moving back and forth like this. Squeeze your belly, push one leg up behind you just a little bit, opposite arm out in front of you, and squeeze belly, hold that for three to five seconds. Back down, and then right leg, push out, left arm, hold that for three to five seconds. When you're doing this, I want you to think about squeezing every muscle from your hand all the way down to your foot. Back down, I want you sweating by the end of this exercise. Squeeze belly, left uh, leg, Right arm, squeeze everything in between, everything all the way down. Should be tight and, tight and stable. And then once again, right leg, left arm, squeeze everything all the way down, keeping your back flat, not letting it twist. So the way that you would get this wrong is if your back moves like that, when you lift up your leg, that's not what I wanna see, okay? So that one's called the standing bird duck. Next one is going to be a counter front plank. So elbows on top of, uh, on the counter, and I want your shoulders pretty much directly over top of your uh, elbows, hands clasped together. And we're going to squeeze our belly first and then walk your feet out behind you. So that's what it should look like. We should feel this in the belly. Um, your heels are definitely supposed to be off the ground. We're not trying to put them onto the ground. That's just a, a calf stretch. And this one we kind of squeeze and hold. I want your back to be neutral and flat. I don't want to see this. And I also, if you're like this, you're not really doing anything. You're just standing in a leaned over posture. So the idea is that it's a straight line from your shoulders down to your heels, okay? Should feel this in the front of your belly right here. And you're gonna hold this for as long as you can up to 60 to 90 seconds. If you can hold it for 90 seconds, you're probably let ready, ready for a lower uh, level uh, counter or table, okay? So that would be the standing uh, plank. The next one I'm gonna teach is the standing side plank. So standing side plank, we put our elbow on top, very, very similar to what we just did. And then we're gonna walk our feet out facing one direction. Outside leg is in front. Inside leg is behind and my feet are in front of each other and from here. This is working your oblique muscle So this is the side belly muscle um, right in there Nice long straight posture. I don't want to see it like this. I want it to be more like that Okay, and then once again, we would do this on the other side elbow on there walk your feet out outside leg in front inside leg behind nice and tall should be a straight line from my my neck down to my feet okay so there is your standing core exercises the bird dog i'll get you to do about three to five repetitions per side uh, i want you to do the counter plank for as long as you can comfortably hold with good technique good form no pain and then the same thing with the uh, side plank hold it for as long as you can with good technique and no pain okay that's the standing core exercises. Once you feel pretty good with those, check out our floor core exercises. Um, we call it the McGill Big Three for uh, the next level of progression. Okay, thanks for watching.